or whether people are already planning those big weekend events. And I think for what it's worth, it's going to be beautiful. We just got to get through the next couple of days. Right. And really, it's just tomorrow morning where we hit the speed bump with a couple of scattered showers. It's not going to last too terribly long. But then that sets the stage for a great weekend with temperatures in the 60s across central Georgia. So be sure to get outside and enjoy it. Check out this sunrise over downtown right now. We're looking down to the south and east this morning from Atrium Health Navicent. A current temperature of 38 in Macon right now with a light southerly breeze at about 3 miles an hour out of the east southeast. 72 is what we're going to be doing later on today with partly cloudy skies. No rain chance through the day today. That is going to come tomorrow morning. Let's check out what's going on across really the southeastern United States. You're going to see much warmer temperatures back off to the west this morning. Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana and Texas. The reason for that is you see a uh, clockwise flow in and around the Florida Panhandle. That is high pressure that has had a southerly breeze across much of the Gulf states over the past few days. And they're warmer and that southerly flow building into central Georgia today. 38 in Macon, 46 in Atlanta, 48 up in Blue Ridge. So yeah, we're actually among the cooler spots. 39 in Valdosta and 41 in Brunswick. Elsewhere across central Georgia, most everybody within a couple degrees of 40 this morning. The radar picture, all is quiet for us thanks to that high pressure that's just down to the south. But the showers you see back up into Missouri, Illinois, that is what's going to move into central Georgia tomorrow morning and bring with it a slight rain chance at about 40%. So let's time it out on future view. Look at this mid 60s by the noon hour. And then once we get later into the afternoon, I do expect to get over that 70 degree mark up to about 72 in Macon and then into the the night tonight. Here comes that shower chance. So right around 2 a.m. going to be looking at the rain chance beginning Thomason for Scythe, Monticello, and then it's going to take from 2 a.m. until about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning to move all the way through central Georgia. So it's not going to rain at your house that entire time, but it is uh, going to provide the chance for uh, possibly a heavy shower or two, six, seven o'clock in Macon, Warner Robins, Milledgeville, and then sliding down to the south here through the morning hours, clearing out after about one or two in the afternoon. Temperature still close to 70, even though the front comes through. It's going to be Friday night into Saturday morning where we really begin to feel the effects of that front with temperatures back down into the 40s and 30s before we're right back into the 60s there for Saturday afternoon. So 67, the high temperature on, on Saturday with plenty of sun in the sky, 66 on Sunday. So yeah, not as warm as today, but still a pretty nice weekend if you ask me. Yesterday we made it to 68, average high is 65, so a couple degrees below or above that. We were below that average in terms of the overnight low temperature. Got down to 30 yesterday morning. The average low is 40. Now we're going to be slightly cooler this weekend. Again, 67 on Saturday, 66 on Sunday. That is compared to 72 today, followed by 71 for tomorrow. You might be thinking, okay, is this spring? Well, no, not yet. We're still 26 days away from spring officially beginning, so I want to caution you don't go planting anything just yet. I still think we've got several opportunities to dip below freezing, a couple of which could come as we get past the middle part of next week. So for the weekend, a fairly nice 160s for the high temperature, but if you like the 70s, they make a comeback next week. 75 on Tuesday, followed by 77 and partly cloudy next Wednesday.